Here's how you can calculate the price in your order forms and let your customers pay online for it. In this video, I will show you the exact steps to create an order form, calculate prices in various use cases and connect it to your payment method. So hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more useful content and let's get started. Today, we are going to build a form from scratch. To do so, let's head over to our Formula dashboard and click on create a blank form to start creating our form. Great, now we can see the editor page on the menu on the left where we can drag and drop to add different fields and options to our form. Start by adding the product field. This way, we can add products to our online order form to sell items, and every product's name, description, quantity, price, and image can be entered in the field's properties. Now let's set the form's currency. To do so, let's head over to the calculation tab and on the left menu of the open page, we are going to set the currency to US dollars. Awesome, now let's add additional pricing options. Here, using a single choice field, we can add extra amounts to our order. For example, if you need to include additional costs, such as packaging or shipping fees, you can add your options there. Later, using Logic, you can add these prices to the product price your clients have already selected. But we will touch more on Logic later in this video. But for now, in the single choice field, let's create two options. One for standard packaging and another for gift wrapping, let's say. And each option has a different price. So let's communicate that on the options so our customers can choose better. So we will customize each option like this. Standard packaging $5, premium gift wrapping $15. Awesome, so far we've created the products and extra options. But we also need to calculate the total fee for each option so that the customer can pay for the total amount. So let's head over to the logic tab and start calculating the total price. So click on advanced logic and from here we have two kinds of conditions to add. Conditions for our product fields and conditions for the single choice field. Great, so we get to the first product which we've called set1 and let's add a new condition to it. If set1 is answered, then plus add set1 to price. Here price is a default variable that's automatically added to all forms and we can use it for our online payments. Learn more about variables on the link that I left in the top right corner of this video. Alright, so far we've added the price of the first product to the total payable price, which is our default price variable. So on, you can add the second product's price to the price variable. If 2 is answered, then plus add set 2 to price. And let's do the same process for other product fields. And now is the time to add the extra costs, like packaging, to our total price. So let's get to the packaging choice field and add a condition to it. Our condition will be something like, if the answer is option 1, then plus add 5 to the price, because standard packaging costs $5. Let's add another condition for the second option. If the answer is option 2, then add 15 to the price, because premium gift wrapping, which is our option 2, costs $15. Now when the user chooses each of these fields on your form, the packaging price will be added to the total payable price on your form. Pretty cool, right? It's good to know that for secure online payments, your order forms only use the default price variable, so you can't use your custom variables for an online payment. But of course, you can use custom variables to calculate different prices and then add them up inside the default price variable for your online payment. If you would like to learn more about logic and calculations, check out the link that I left for you at the top right corner of this video. Okay, so now that we have our total price set, let's pipe the total price and show it to the user. That way, your customers can see the total payable price of the order before being redirected to the payment page. To do this, we will add a section field at the end of the form and type in the total payable price like this. Total price, double braces, price, double braces. Of course, you can customize the text or add images and links here, for example, to educate the customer about your return policy or your terms of service. And for more details about answer piping, check out the link that I left in the top right corner of this video. Okay, so now as the final step, let's connect our payment method to the order form so customers can make purchases quickly and securely. First, we need to create a payment method. So let's head over to our dashboard and click on the profile icon. Here, select the payment methods option to see a list of all payment methods. Let's create a new payment method here. You can connect your Stripe, Square or PayPal payments to Formaloo to allow your customers to pay online on your forms. Okay, now let's go to our settings tab of the form and enable the form with payment option and select the payment method that we've just created. Save changes, and voila! And that's it! We have just created an order form with calculations in a few clicks. Now you can create your own calculation forms yourself. I hope these tips and tricks helped you so you can start creating order forms that are more engaging, personalized, and efficient. Sign up at Formaloo for free and start selling your products or services online. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share with your friends. Happy Formalooing!